We have this nectarine. Got bit up by the dog. And she literally plucked it out. And I couldn't find it. I thought it was a goner. And I found it. And the roots were all bit up. Practically all of them. And it just looked like a stick like that from a tree I had knocked down. And I literally thought it was gone, but I was like, no, I really want nectarine. I replanted it, fertilized it, watered it really good, and it looked dead forever. But then the next year, next season, it came back to life. And that's why it's small, but I bought those with this one, which I pruned down really, uh, which I pruned down a lot. And uh, anyways, so this is really small. But it survived. Anyways, and then these strawberries started from a six pack. I think I paid seven dollars for a little bundle. Uh, they're pineapple, uh, something like that, something pineapple. And, uh, now they're spread all over the place uh, what I do is I in the beginning in the beginning I would uh, put just little like uh, jello jars in Gerber empty little uh, plastic containers and I would put with a little bit of dirt and I would uh, put the runners in there and let them root and then I'd go and uh, separate them and spread them out I did that for one season and then I kind of stopped because they just started spreading everywhere and now um, that's what I do I don't put them in containers anymore but when I see that they're spreading uh, I dig them up and transfer them somewhere else and uh, that's pretty much what I do that's what's been having everything spread and right here I have some hardy kiwi and right here I have some fuzzy kiwi. That's also supposed to be hardy, which it did come back last year. I thought it died, uh, but it came back. This one too. Uh, this one was also bit up by our dog when she was a puppy. Uh, we have a German Shepherd and uh, she bit them all up. And almost, uh, it was a three in one. <laughs> and she ripped off the two graphs and made it a one in one. So I don't actually know what I have survived, what I, what survived on it, but I grafted more stuff on it, and it's looking beautiful now. Uh, same with this thing. Uh, she bit it down to like nothing, this honeyberry, and uh, I lost the tag to it, so I don't know what type of honeyberry, but I know it is a good variety. Um, but anyways, it came back, so um, either I'm really good at reviving uh, mistreated plants or... Um, they're just really hardy. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I've been leveling, been leveling out the grow area. A little guy right there. Um, gonna grow this uh, black mulberry as a bush, so cut it down super low. And I'm gonna keep topping it until it just fills out and turns to bush. So that's my plans for that one. Um, this one was very bushy, but I wanted it as a tree. So uh, it's in the edge. I didn't want it to take up more space. So I'm uh, slowly cutting off all the other branches. Uh, right now it's down to two. Might leave it that way, but I'm going to grow it as a tree. Um, this one was gifted to me by a good friend at work. Uh, he got this from... Uh, peach tree in Mexico and he gave it to me as a seedling I brought it home I thought it was gonna die again because our dog bit up everything and um, it survived and now I've been nursing it back to life I'm gonna start pruning it but I wanted it to stretch out uh, maybe do some end of the summer pruning towards fall or maybe wait till fall I'm not sure yet but it just depends on how big it grows uh, right here, got some uh, planted different types of uh, potatoes. Made a potato and onion tower. First time I did that. 
So very excited with the results so far. Looks like it's filling in really good. Um, our black current uh, grows really good compared to all the other currents. Uh, grafted it right there. Can you tell? Uh, I think it's pink or red currents. Hard to tell. Yeah. So I can't find the other graph, but it has two graphs and this uh, the kids. So now that the kids uh, love to run out around out here, they also damage a lot of my graphs, which kind of sucks. But hey, love kids. Kids are great. Uh, Joe Staberry, this one too. Same story. Our dog bit it down to almost nothing. And I nursed it back to life last year. Uh. Babied it. And uh, now it's actually really stretching. So I uh, actually uh, bought another Joe Staberry. Uh, that one's really small. But I'm going to I'm gonna um, plant it later. Some empty spots. Uh, there's our grafted uh, apple tree that I grew from seed uh, I got this granny smith tree right here bought it large actually um, but my plan is to graft at least 10 apple varieties onto this bad boy really excited to do that but that'll be um, next winter this year I'm just gonna let it grow, stretch, and hopefully grow some more limbs. And then uh, I'm going to graft onto those next season. Uh, here's our Frankenstein tree that also um, was a cherry tree just like that one. Had two actually. And it was, I don't know what type of cherries they were, but they were really small, almost all pit. And I uh, was going to cut it down, but then I thought, what if... I tried a, a bark graft. No, not bark graft. Uh, I forgot what it's called. But um, I decided to, why not? You know, why not try? I had, by then, I had a couple uh, grafted varieties in the back. Anyways, yeah, this is my uh, mulberry. Um, I'm going to start a channel, actually. But right now, just recording content. But... When I launch it, can somebody please tell me what is causing that? I saw it on uh, three of my mulberry trees. They're different varieties, different hardinesses, I imagine. So I'm thinking they got hit with a little bit of frost damage. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not too sure. Another <laughs> blueberry that got cut down to almost nothing by our dog yeah so we have a dog that likes to bite all our all our trees and fruits that's why now she's not allowed to run in the backyard free anymore she has her own little area and runs wild inside but not out here anymore check it out uh Probably gonna do some pruning on it. Don't really like it all long and lanky like that, but for now I'll let it do its thing. Um, yeah, actually, uh, probably will tie it down. But it's doing some serious stretching, so I'll let it grow for a bit, just so I can get more branches on there, so I can graft, because I've been grafting. All kinds of stuff onto it. Uh, some took, some didn't. Most of it did. Uh, some of it got knocked off by my kids again. Uh, this is a goji berry I grew from seed. It's definitely different, I would say, than my other goji berry that I bought from the from the nursery because the other one has fruited both years heavily. The leaves look different and. I'm really hoping this one tastes better because the other one was not too good. But I'm hopeful that it'll be better than the other variety. Um, tried grafting some of my uh, blueberries. No success on those yet. Uh, the end of this season, I'm looking to graft onto my honeyberries. See how that goes. But yeah, there's my Frankenstein tree my dad gave to me. 
uh, have some success in it. In the beginning, it looked like most of them were going to take, but now it looks like some of them died off. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, but hopeful, optimistic again. Uh, my other fig variety, uh, variety unknown, but I do have some grafted varieties on there that are known. Uh, the mother mulberry tree <laughs> that I've cloned quite a bit, uh, propagated or whatever you want to say. Uh, our pawpaws looking good, looking great. Um, and my Chicago hardy fig. Uh, I can't wait for it to grow so I can graft onto it. As you can tell, yes, I like to graft and I try to graft everything and I mean everything. Here's another one I grafted. It's looking good. Another papa. Looks like they're doing good. They're finally, hopefully, starting to stretch. This is our second year with them. First year in the ground. Um, didn't have a place to put them before. I don't know what's going on with these. Looks like it's doing good. White mulberry right there. This mulberry doesn't look happy, but I'm gonna try to revive it. Oh, got a sun infestation on this one, so it's gonna go far away from all the other ones. Yeah, Papa. Which one? What? What thing? Someone dig it. Where? Yeah. yeah well, Lucito, be careful with that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna. Just be very careful. I'm going to take them while I shoot. Here's the black fig. I don't know what variety, but uh, yeah. Got it grafted on it. They're all looking good, so very excited about that. Here's the pluary coming back to life. Definitely excited about that. This one is slowly dying. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, this was our um, Australian lime. 